Capricorn, what is going on, my babies? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red, Cerro Madiers, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you around September 2020. Show me the money energy, yes, God. Thank you to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies. Thank you to every last one of you guys who have liked, shared, subscribed, or clicked clicked any one of these videos at any point in time uh, as you've been on YouTube um, if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading with me all you got to do is click the about tab on my YouTube page or you can even check the description um, box in this video um, I do video readings only through Instagram video message or Google Hangouts video message so if you do not have Instagram so you can send me a personal message and let me know that you want to book and what type of reading that you would like so we can get you all scheduled um, you can use my email which is scorpionres at gmail.com and you can download Google Hangouts which is a free app to download after we finish the reading if you don't want to keep it you can just delete it okay but it is a very good resource if you guys do not have an iPhone and you don't want to exchange video um you don't want to exchange phone numbers but yet you want to do video messaging and you don't want to have people all up on your Facebook and your personal pages and stuff listen Google Hangouts is a good resource to use and again the only thing that you need to connect with me is my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com so if you don't have Instagram just shoot me an email there okay we'll be good to go so as you know Capricorn you already know what's going on baby we are going to say a quick prayer over the energy and just give thanks for every single thing that we have I want to give a big shout out and big thanks as well to everyone who has been donating and been um booking readings during this time as you know the whole shutdown and things we have a brand new deck that I just decided to throw on the table this is what um the Crow Tarot deck um, and then we got a lot of new decks here as well so I just want to give a shout out to everyone who will be sending those amazing gifts through the Amazon wish list because every time I get a new deck I am so excited and y'all know my birthday is coming up so shout out to all my Scorpios my October Scorpios okay let's get into this let me stop running my mouth so let's say a quick prayer before we get into this energy Father God Thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for just shining your light over every last one of us, Father God, keeping us, you know, with strength, keeping us with determination. We're just moving forward in life. We are claiming victory over everything that we lay eyes on, everything that we put our heart to, Father God. And we just thank you so much for all of the clarity that you've been giving us in our life so that we can make the right moves that we need to make during this time and this season. So, Father God, continue to just keep your hands on us, Father God. Give us guidance for Capricorn for September 2020. Show me the money energy. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Uh, please give us guidance again for um, mm, about to say that Sagittarius for Capricorn. Thank you so much. Amen. All right. So I got this deck here. It's called uh, What Do You Mean? It's like whole bunch of memes and stuff like that that you see online so I've been using this in my personals and it's been really fun it's been putting like a different context to the reading so we're going to do this we're going to do this baby and then um I've also been placing the cards face down um that's been pretty cool so we're going to see how this works out for you guys to see what type of energy we get to come out all right I hope you guys had a wonderful Labor Day. Everybody, you know, looking out for the cookout. And if you need to, you guys can put a time step down there. So, people who don't want to watch my little shuffling can just skip on through. Oh, we can talk a little bit okay because I just had uh, a personal with a male Capricorn the other day and I love doing personal readings with fellas so if there are any fellas that you know don't be shy to like contact me for a reading because we really be vibing and like this Capricorn 
his whole thing is he just want his pockets full. He just want his future solidified. And like once that's together, then he can open up his heart and his mind to love and things like that. But like this person, I knew him on a personal level, like way, way back in the day. And um, he's a good brother. Like he's a really good dude. And I just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like I wish you would, like the money is going to be there. But it's like, I know that this man really desires love on like a high level. But it's like. He has to be satisfied with the amount of money that he made first before he can really slow down and put his focus on love. And it's just like, when is the amount of money going to be enough for you to feel comfortable? And I don't know if that's something that a lot of um, Capricorn men deal with. Um, especially like if you came from any type of poverty, if you've had any type of like, you know, like family financial struggles when y'all were younger. I totally understand the want and the need to make sure, you know, that if you want a family that you can afford a family. I get it. But he needed to find balance between what his heart's want, what his heart want, and what his mind wants. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I've never even seen that card before. Alright. Let's find out what kind of doors y'all opening up. I don't think I've seen that one either. Okay, Capricorn, let's get into this. So let's see what's going on with you guys for September. So, ooh. Yes, I like that. I like that. I like how he like, you know, giving you the little wink. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got you, boo. Checks are coming. Now, listen. Checks is coming. I like him. It's like he's at a board meeting, like a press conference or something. And it's like he's running the table. Like he's confirming that checks are coming. Checks is clearing. Like everything is being approved. Like I really do think that things are going his way. Things are really going his way. I feel like these people at this table are really no match for them. Like on a mental game like he got everybody wrapped he got everybody in their pocket everybody in the pocket everyone is in their correct place where he wants them to be the people that he wants to be upset or upset the people that he wants to make shit go is making things go so he's sitting back he didn't turn back around and looked at someone like yeah gotcha bitch yeah <laughs> let me find out what's going on with you guys capricorn what is this is this the five of pentacles in reverse. Didn't I tell you checks is a coming? I told you checks is coming. Checks is being cashed. Shit is being cleared. You guys are getting advances in life. Your health is looking up. You're feeling very positive, very confident about things. Like things are like this is basically telling me like at one point in time in your life, like you were down about something you felt like your life was lacking something like your life is your life is lacking nothing like doors are opening from you for you this is like a car in the upright it's where someone feels like they were alienated being shut out like they have a fear of abandonment like so you might be getting over your fear of abandonment and like especially in regards to finances or just with you know relationships and things like that it's like i feel like your confidence is like superseding whatever like past experiences that you have like your confidence now basically trumps anything that you could have lacked in the past you know what i'm saying like everything is a go Everything is a go. Checks are clearing. Checks is coming. You understand what I'm saying? So especially if you guys were having any type of financial uh, uh, troubles, anything like that, checks is clearing. Checks is coming, boo. You got this. <laughs> like, things is on the money. That's all I'm saying. Whatever you're doing, listen, the five of wands. So the five of wands, you telling people that is even trying to compete with you to back down. You might not want to cross this path, brother. Like, you know, like, seriously, you don't really want no smoke over here. Like, I really am not in a position to listen to or debate with people that are not on my team like if you're not on the squad you an enemy slam so you might want to take that on over there and mind your business I have a Feliz Navidad Merry Christmas as long as you stay the fuck over there me and you good but it's, when you come over here squawking and 
telling me what you think is right and what you heard and what you think I should do. See, you going, you, you, listen, you going to make me have to, you know, call in a favor for a favor for a favor. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, I don't sit at this round table alone. I got a lot of, it, this strength in numbers, baby. This strength in numbers. So listen, I'm just going to advise you. You better lay low. This is somebody that is just like, especially when they've come out of a place where they were lacking something, where they felt shut out, where they felt they were being ignored, where no one was helping them. You might be in a place right now where financially everything is all the way up and someone may be trying to come across your path and you'd be like, nah, 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 motherfucker. No, no, no. No, motherfucker. Go on back over there and go mind your business and you better go figure your way out the same way I had to figure my way out, bitch. Checkmates. You understand what I'm saying? Laugh now, cry later, honey. Okay? Mob ties. Y'all know that uh, Drape song, Mob Ties? <laughs> I'm knocking them off because I got ties. Listen, it's too late for all that lovey-dovey shit. I'm your brother shit. All that other shit. Look, it's too late for all that. Oh, remind me, I gotta call her. But anyway, so some mob ties things going on over here. Let's continue along this path and just see what's going on. Because... There is an opposition here that you are trying to warn to back away because you're finally in a good space and your life is like back away. Back away. So what is this? Judication in the reverse. So this is the judication card. So this can be someone that you had some type of agreement with, a commitment or something like someone didn't honor a commitment. Um, they weren't able to prove some facts or something in the court of law, like whatever they said really wasn't proven and like someone was determined guilty in some type of way. I feel like there may have been like a settlement or something where in the past you felt like justice wasn't on your side you understand or someone did you something that was unjust or they didn't show up to court or something and for whatever reason you lost the settlement and i felt like you had to start all over again with the five of pentacles this is someone coming out of a place of lack a place of homelessness you see what i'm saying like you're not homeless anymore you understand like you may have shelter now like in the past when when things didn't go your way because things were unjust things were unbalanced like Things didn't come out your way in the court of law and you had to start all over. Now that you have your home, you're financially straight, you're emotionally straight, you're mentally straight, you got something in the savings, you're not. Whatever happened here, you're not allowing this person to cross your path again. It's like fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, no baby. Because do you see how this person is defending themselves with the two of wands the two of wands is when someone is in a place of their life where they're not satisfied and they feel like the grass is greener on the other side the three of wands is someone that left for something better you understand what i'm saying but those three of wands are on the floor you understand so this could be someone that thought that something was better on the other side and could have left you there and now they might have sat that down and try to come back and now you're like no it's my decision now you understand <laughs> it's my decision now i don't think because you see the phoenix this person rebirthed their self out of something let's check out this door let's see what this door has to say it says offerings you guys offerings it says abundance lies in the heart that allows Share more than expected and see love come around. So, I feel like in the past, you may have given many offerings. It was many, 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 many offerings. Many, many offerings, right? I feel like these offerings have stopped because now you've learned not to give to people that won't give to you. You're saving your money. You know what I understand? These people are shut out now. These people are being rejected. Like you're standing in the five of wands. You standing up for yourself. Bottom line. You not backing down. You understand? You defending yourself against lies, gossip, slander, 
competition, people thinking that they better than you. You came out as the phoenix. Do you understand? So, um, I feel like life is because of the way that you offered yourself in this in in this situation. Because it seemed like you offered enough towards the way. It's the, I feel like you offered too much. You know what I'm saying? But because at a point in time in your life where you kept giving, you know what I'm saying? And you had to learn a valuable lesson to help you re-give. I mean, to to rebuild and stuff like that. The, the universe is re-giving everything to you. So you may be receiving an abundance of offerings because you coming up out like you defending yourself. You... Having self-worth. The five of pentacles is someone that realizes their self-worth, their self-value. You understand? So, even though that this didn't work out for you, you're defending yourself and you came out of this abundant with self-worth and self-value. I feel like the universe is offering you so much more now. What is this? The seven of pentacles. But this is the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So, this is basically something that is like long overdue. So it could be a long overdue offering. It could be something that you have been waiting for for a long time and you just got tired of waiting for and you might have just moved on because you felt like justice would never be on your side type of thing like that. And like now you're finally getting that kick back a little bit, but it may be a little short. You know what I'm saying? The seven of Pentacles is not like it's it's you not getting everything that you expected. You You see what I'm saying? So you see how. Okay, so now I'm seeing a sexual situation. So this is like you could have been offering, offering, offering and giving yourself to a situation sexually because um, you wanted to please yourself and to please the other person. But it just wasn't balanced. It was like everybody wasn't bringing something to the table. Like this could have been a situation where you kept offering yourself in a sexual manner, but you were always on top. You know what I'm saying? Like the other person wasn't putting any work in. It wasn't balanced. They weren't giving to you. And it's like you could have been waiting, waiting, waiting for them to just flip you over and just like, you know what I'm saying? Just, ugh, you know what I'm saying? But it just never happened. You know what I'm saying? So the seven of pentacles is like when you realize that this not be worth me continuing to give to for me to continue to offer myself to because I'm always going to have to be on top. I'm always going to have to do all the work. I'm always going to have to put all my effort into everything. And if I'm going to do that, I'd rather do it by myself, not having somebody else feeding off of me, expecting something as well. And they ain't, and they ain't doing nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you might be picking up whatever you have and just leaving you see what i'm saying it's just like i don't want to invest here anymore i don't want to waste my energy in here, in here anymore i'm just about to take whatever coins i can gather and i'm just going to move on do you understand what i'm saying so you might be moving on with your offering because something wasn't balanced so again and then again i'm looking at this person winking the eye so i don't know if you picked up and moved you understand what i'm saying like maybe someone thought that you were homeless that you I'm feeling like you just picked up and moved and someone you kept offering to. It wasn't giving you the kickback that you wanted. You always had to be on top. You always had to do too much. And now you're in a new place. You're in a new space. The world is offering a lot to you. And this person is being kept out. Bottom line. Because... When you were offering to them before, they weren't offering nothing to you or they kept making false promises. You know what I'm saying? They kept promising that they were going to get on top of things and they never did. And you waited and waited and waited. And you were waiting on them to actually do what they said that they were going to do. And the crops got rotten. Like the field, like the weeds overgrew and overtook the crops. You know what I'm saying? Where everything y'all worked for got destroyed because you depended on someone. To do what they said that they were going to do and they never showed up. So it's like, let me pick the, the few ripe tomatoes that I can eat during my journey. I'm not even about to clean up this shit. They're going to clean up this shit. I'm just taking what I can grab and I'm going to fuck on about my business, basically. you going on with your offering because what they said that they could do, it didn't measure up in court. 
what is this the sun in reverse so as you can see the sun in the reverse is like to me this is something being hidden and as you can see these are two men here it's a homosexual scene y'all take with that as you will because like i said when certain cards come out on this table they come out for a fucking reason so there could be something hidden that you don't know about something that uh isn't being illuminated to you there could have been a loss of innocence there could have been like like you could have been innocent in a situation that really gave your all and like this person really made you happy and then all of a sudden like this person started playing around too much and kind of still stole your joy you know what i'm saying or this is someone that like their fun has been stolen for them like they've been told that they can't go outside and play like they can't do what normal kids do or you know what i'm saying like they're keeping they're being kept away from the fun you understand what i'm saying or like they're taking something too seriously and there's no fun in the situation because it's nothing but arguments it's like the sun is never shining outside it's always rainy days there's no happiness there's no joy there's no you know jovial experiences here it's like my happiness and my vision has been robbed it's like so dark i can barely see anything so i don't know if y'all are understanding where i'm going with this i really do feel like there's something that's being hidden here that you guys really don't see um and i really do feel like something or someone stole your joy and happiness because I feel like you're not able to see things for what it is. I really do feel like someone is keeping something secret from you that you, you're not able to see. And I feel like that's the reason why this person, like, life never turns up well for them. Because I feel like either this person plays too much or they keep a lot of shit secret and they keep a lot of shit hidden. And they, they, they don't want to grow up or something like that. I hope I'm making any sense. Like, official person. So, like... God, I don't even want to go there with it. But I'm going to keep it like that. Like, like this person might could just deal with women for, like, financial needs or whatever. And, like, some dude could be the official person. And that could be, like, some shit that's hidden on a love. Like, a friend. Like, someone that's supposed to be, like, a child friend or something like that. And that's not really this person's child friend. That's that person's real official person. Like, that's why you were always kept waiting. That's why this person's money was always short. This person wasn't always showing up doing certain things. Like, that's why... This person can have like a lot of legal trouble or things and stuff like that. And this person never shows up in court on the right side of things. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like this person may be with the seven of pentacles, like always waiting on someone to take care of them, always waiting for someone to get on top of things for them. You understand? Um, you might have lost a lot of happiness in your life waiting for this person to stand up and be the official person like you you wanted them to see who they were in your life but at the same time with the sun being in the reverse it's like this person isn't past the childish games like you know what i'm saying like it's like this person isn't growing up and being what you need them to be i hope that this is making sense so let's see what the moon energy is here. Darkness. I'm trying to tell you. Darkness. Like there's a lot of shit being hidden. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit in the fucking darkness, y'all. And this is like the winter time. It says the long night moon. So I really do feel like there's some shit that's going to be coming out when things start to get cold, y'all. When the shadows are more visible than the sun. I really do feel like... Things are going to, especially if you're dealing with someone that's over the age of 40 or something like that. I really do feel like this person is your energy is right for you to have this self-love and, and, and hold your guard up against this person and keep this person out for a reason. Because it's some shit that y'all don't see about this person. And I really do feel like you offered enough to this person and this person left you in a situation that was unjustified I, I don't know you guys could have got evicted you could have been homeless you could have been in some type of financial disarray or some type of financial struggle whatever financial agreement was you ended up getting the short end of the stick where you had to cut your losses and just take whatever you could and go 
you're not happy because you really want this person to be the official person but this person has a lot of shit with them that you, they are hiding what is this under this this is the five of swords so a lot of y'all this is a lot of fives y'all you got the five of wands and the five of swords the five of swords is when someone is being mentally manipulative like this is the card of a thief of a swindler of a con artist of a scammer um someone that is willing to stoop low to win at all costs this is like the card of you losing you see what i'm saying like they intend for you to lose they have no intention for you to gain a hand up on them at all you understand like this is someone that is trying to outsmart you at all costs like this is someone that could have studied you to, like this is a spy this is someone who even while dating you and talking to you like they were calculating they were studying like they probably knew that you were going to offer this much they probably knew that i don't think that they knew that you would develop yourself in a way where you would have your self-worth and you would keep them out i feel like they felt like they could keep giving you the short end of the stick This is someone that you got to watch out for. This is someone, this is something that maybe you've been kept in the darkness about. Like, um, you really just didn't see this person for what they were. Like, how scandalous, how manipulative they are. Like, this person will tell you whatever the fuck you want to hear just so they can get whatever whatever they want. They, they don't intend for you to be happy. They don't intend, like, it's like something where... The more unhappy you are, the more offerings, the more you're going to fight. You understand what I'm saying? You're never winning court. You're always going to end up short. You understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Have y'all ever seen someone do that to someone? Like the worse they treat them, the more the person gives. It's manipulation. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see what this is. This is the eight of swords. So this is someone being bound, being trapped being kept away from something you understand so this is someone that can't see they were out of a situation this is someone that is still going over thoughts still going over a text message that still looks back at old pictures goes over old memories it's like they're trapped in something that was in the past and it's like they can't even really see how to untangle yourself out of something and i want to say that that's this person's plan because they want you to continue offering and keep coming up short but you got a trick up your sleeve they're being kept out because it's like you love yourself more now listen now you got the ace of swords so this is clarity for you this could be someone that Ever you have a child with, you're expecting a child with, because you, as you can see, this is someone expecting, or this is you just having mental clarity for your own, and you just expecting like better things for yourself in the future. It's like you expected the truth to come out. You understand what I'm saying? So I really feel like that's what it is: the expecting of the the expectation of the truth of clarity. You see how the sword is laid down? So it's like I don't even need to use my sword to get down to the meat and potatoes. Like it's going to come to me. I'm expecting it. You understand? So it's something that you're expecting to be revealed to you. Something that you were expecting to be revealed to you. And this could come around like October, November-ish. It's something that is going to be exposed to you. There could be truth coming out about another child or something like that. Yo, this is so crazy to me because now I'm getting a whole Capricorn. Like, it's like, gotcha, bitch. Listen, so this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. I feel like whoever the Capricorn has been dealing with or... The Capricorn themselves, I don't know. Y'all have to take it how it resonates. But it's like, gotcha, bitch. Got, gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. It was like, I kept this person out for a reason because I know my self-worth. You know what I'm saying? I know how this person had me trapped and was manipulating me and kept me in the darkness before. 
I just heard pray for that enemy. So I don't know. It's like I feel like the truth is going to come out that the enemy, whoever the person is that's on the other side or something, like this person is expecting. And it's like the Capricorn is looking at it like, like you stupid. He got you, bitch. That's exactly why I was keeping this motherfucker out because I. it's like this person wants to live off of me, want to live off of my offerings. This could be someone that be trapping women with, with kids to, you know what I'm saying? Like, Papa was a rolling stone everywhere he laid his hat was his home. He might got a baby mother that he can go to over here, baby mother he can go to over here, baby mother he can go to over here, baby mother he can go to over there. But this baby mother is keeping this one out because their self-worth. I've given you too much. I'm finally getting back everything that I lost and for me having lack of judgment. I really do feel like that. You took what you could and you left because this person kept you unhappy. And I really do feel like you are looking for the official person. You really are looking for the official person. But there's some secret behind who this person's official person is. Whoever this person is has someone trapped with a new baby now. And that shit is going to come out. It's going to be clear and it's going to be truthful. And I, I don't know if that's why this person is, is keeping this person out. I don't know if this person felt like that's what they did to them. Like you trapped me with a child. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't trying to release me or something like that. But I can see it clear. I can see it now because I feel like this person did it to someone else. And it's just like serves you right bitch like it's like you wanted to be in a place where I was in a place of lack when this person abandoned me you gonna get everything you gonna get every single thing that you pray for and that you wish for so it's like allowing people to stay in the darkness so like you could know that this person is trapped and what this manipulative individual did to this person over here but you keep it your mouth shut you like I ta ta <laughs> let her keep offering <laughs> the three of cups I'm trying to tell you I'm trying to tell you it's a third party situation it's not a third party situation anymore because I feel like the Capricorn is keeping this person the fuck out I ain't got nothing to offer to you no more listen it says toast to friendships in the afternoon sun three of cups is happiness three cheers are done celebration is near so for the person that three of cups also represents childbirth fertility as well someone is pregnant it's just like the three of hearts and cardamancy there's pregnancy here there's someone pregnant and I also feel like someone is down low as well Take that for whoever it resonates with. It may not resonate with you, but trust me, there's somebody watching this video that that message right there was for. But there's someone pregnant. And for the person that has kept this person out, you you are sitting back smiling and giggling like a fucking Cheshire cat because this person is in the darkness about this person's true sexuality. That this person would never truly act like the official person and that this this is another victim like this person is trapped what is this bad health in the reverse so the three of cups so the three of cups can means like too much celebration or something like that like so with the the, the three of cups and then the um bad health in the reverse so this could be a hangover or something like that so you could have party too hard and you might be getting over a hangover you may be getting over a situation where you were like maybe stressing or feeling depressed or something like that so it's like you might have been in over your head you may have drunk too much you like i said you might over offered you may have overgive you were celebrating you were party too hard you were being kept in the darkness about the true identity of who this person was this person is a manipulator they're a con artist they're a liar scammer thiever all of that shit like you know what i'm saying like this person is a person that operates in the underworld and i feel like it could have bought you a lot of stress in your life but i feel like you're over that now and you're celebrating now and you're allowing someone else to offer to this person what is this the justice now the justice is finally here okay justice is finally here now you are listen 
you a balance. You see all them skeletons down there? It's like you bury all of the faces of anybody that have ever did you anything wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, karma is finally on your side. It's like you clean your shit up. You finally got yourself worth together. You kept people out. Look, people that wanted to be trapped in your situation, when you wanted out, you let them in. And you, listen, you know your truth. You're honoring yourself. You're expecting the truth to come out. I feel like it's something that you know deep in your gut is something being kept in the darkness that you don't know about that's being I feel like there's something over here and it's something over here I feel like someone may have another bra pregnant and you might have a sneaky suspicion about someone's sexuality but oh, oh no matter what that's why you were keeping yourself work as number one I feel like you're allowing people to see what you want them to see you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like these people may not know where you live. Like, they can't come to your house. You might be telling people off. You defending yourself. Like, you are, like, really standing your ground on some level. And with this Three of Cups, you getting over this stress and anxiety. And the Justice card here, things are being balanced for you. Things are being balanced for you. And just like this says, these offerings, where you were offering it to the wrong person before, your heart was still pure and you were still... Being a good person. So you're getting that kickback over here. You understand? You're getting a kickback. And if for whatever reason on this side, y'all. If there's something that you are still trapped in mentally about the situation. And you don't understand why you can't release it and let it go. Baby, there ain't nothing but some string on you. And you can move those Swords aside, ain't nothing really tied. You're not bound to nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Release yourself and let that shit go. But like I said, something is going to come out where you're going you gonna to release yourself from it any damn way. What is this? The Page of Pentacles. I feel like there's someone that you've got a new offer from someone that you're hiding. Someone that might be fucking you real good or just been giving you something that you feel like may really last this time something that is really of standard and quality like you may be relearning how to love all over again in a more healthy way that's actually going to produce fruits for your labor you understand i feel like you may be hiding this person you see how you can't see this person's face i feel like you may be keeping this person a secret right now because you don't i feel like you're watching you're keeping you're keeping things out of your life so that you can enjoy your life and then you can stay on the right side of karma karma and justice so that you can continue to celebrate you understand i feel like you're hiding a person that you're really involved with i feel like this is something that is high standard high quality and i feel like this is something that's going to last long continue to keep this person out of the public eye until you know that shit is solid that's all i'm gonna say because this one right here this little dung beetle bug ass motherfucker. Trust and believe when I tell you that they got some other little situation over here that they got somebody working on it. They got trapped that they fixated on right now. But I promise you, if this person has any idea that your, your cakes is being torn up to smithereens like that, that's why they're trying to cross you again. Because they think for whatever, whoever this is, they really don't realize that you really do love yourself and that you learn from that past situation they really do think that they can continue to cross these boundaries and they can do whatever they want to do odds 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 i got something for you bitch checks is being cashed and you are looking like an ash my friend what is this thoughts so thoughts you are thinking of somebody heavenly. There's a new picture is being painted in your mind. There's someone that gives you a better sense of quality. Really makes you value yourself and makes you want to do better for yourself. Clearly with this five pentacles. It's like your life is going up. It's like going all the way up. So it's just like. I feel like you're allowing other people and watching other people being consumed by the darkness that you once were in waiting. Listen, seven of pentacles in the reverse. 
waiting for someone tired of this leading to you literally did not give a fuck no more. This person to come through in your life. To give you the justice that you deserve and to act like they were the official person. You're allowing and you're watching someone else that thought that they were better than you. I really do feel like it's because with that three of cups, I'm still taking it as a third party situation. And I feel like as soon as somebody comes into your life and this person from your past sees you changing, they're going to try to cross that boundary and they're going to realize just how much more respect you have for yourself. You're not going to allow this person to come into your life and to ruin this perfect picture that you are painting right now. Period. 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 Continue to set your boundaries. And again, whoever this is over here that's trapped and expecting something from this person, they'll learn their lesson just like you did. Let them continue to stay in the darkness, mind your business. And like you said, gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. This has been y'all reading Capricorn. I hope y'all understood. I hope y'all understood. I love you. Peace.